Okay, so today we're checking out PSN games and how to run them using Retrobat. So I last uploaded a guide for Retrobat or PCS3 middle of last year, which was 2024. And I've since had a lot of people saying their PSN games in general PS3 games are no longer working. So we're solely going to focus on PSN aspects of this emulator within Retrobat. And I'm also going to show you another way of playing your Blu-ray disc games aka ISO images. Very simple stuff. So first of all, I'm going to treat you like you're brand new to RPCS3 and Retrobat. And what we're going to do is need to download some firmware. Now, what I'm going to do is just head over to the PlayStation website and I'm going to update using a computer. Download PS3 update. And what we're going to do is download the firmware. And this is going to download a PS3 update.pub. So I've already got this on my desktop just here. What we're going to do then is head into the retro bat directory. Just right click on the desktop shortcut, open file location. If we go into BIOS folder, I'm going to drag in that PS3 update.pub inside of here. Anywhere will be fine. And replace. I've already got it in there. Okie dokes. Next thing we need to do then is actually open up a ps3 game within retrobat so again retrobat shortcut open file location roms and i'm going to look for a ps3 folder here's ps3 and what i'm going to do is drag in an iso image of minecraft okay cool stuff so what we're going to do then is open up retrobat Okay, so we should see PS3 inside of Retrobat now that I've dragged in the ISO image. If I just open this up and open up the game. And this is going to prompt us to download and install RPCS3, which is what we want. So I'm going to go to yes to install. And just to note, if you don't have an ISO image of a game, what we're going to do is just go to the Retrobat logo. And just here, you can actually download RPCS3 itself. So if we just look for RPCS3, and here it is. So we can actually install it from this location just by pressing the A button to open it and then installing it that way. Okay, so we need to install firmware, and it's saying that it's going to install from the BIOS folder of a Retrobat. So we'll just press yes on this, and we're going to wait for this to install. This can take a few seconds to a few minutes. Okay, excellent. The firmware has now been installed. Everything's fine. So what we need to do next then is actually install the package file of my PSN game. So whilst we got RPCS3 open just here, what I'm going to do is actually install it. We're going to go to File. And if I scroll down, I'm going to find Install Packages, Wraps, EDATs. If I left click on this one, and what I'm going to do is just point this in the direction of where my package file is. So it's on the desktop, and it's in my 1943 folder. I've got the game just here, which is a PKG file, and I've also got the license file, which is the wrap. So what we're going to do is double left click on the PKG file, or package, and we're going to go to Yes. Okay, whilst we're here, I'm going to add desktop shortcut. And I'm going to show you why this is in a minute. We're going to go to OK. And we're going to press OK. And we're going to close out of RPCS3. Okay, so we're now going to exit Retrobat altogether. On my desktop, I've now got the shortcut for the game itself, as we can see. But first of all, we need to find the correct location of where to put that wrap file. So what we're going to do is go back to the Retrobat shortcut, open file location. And this time, I'm going to go to Emulators, and I'm going to find RPCS3. If we go inside of here, we're going to find dev underscore HDD0. If I go inside of here... We're then going to find a folder called Home. And we've got a folder here, which is a series of numbers. And we're going to go into XData folder. And it's in here, which is where I'm going to put the game's wrap file. So if I just drag and drop the wrap file inside of that XData folder, as so. What we're going to do next then is go back to the RPCS3 emulator. emulators and we're going to open up rpcs3 again and if we scroll down we should find rpcs3.exe if we open this up okay so i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to install packages wraps edats 
And from here, I need to go to where Retrobat is installed. So for me, I defaulted installing it to my C drive. If I go here and I'm going to go into my Retrobat folder, I'm going to go to my emulators folder. And from here, I'm going to just drag down until I find RPCS3. And I'm going to go into the Dev HDD0 folder. And from here, I'm going to go to Home. And here's that folder we seen just a second ago. I'm going to go to X Data. And here's that wrap file. If I double left click, we can see just here in the GUI of RPCS3 that has been successfully copied. Now, what we're going to do is just make sure this game is now working. And as we can see, the game boots up just fine. It's compiling PPU modules. So let's just exit outside of this for now. If I press the escape button and just close down. Now, just a second ago, I also made this create a shortcut, as we can see here on the desktop. So what I'm going to do is actually go into the ROMs folder. And if I scroll down and look for PS3, here's PS3. And what I'm going to do is drag and drop the PSN 1942 shortcut inside of here alongside with my Minecraft game. Okay, so we're going to open up Retrobat again. And if we go inside a PS3, we can now find 1942 using that shortcut. If I open this up. And here we go then. So if you are new to RPCS3, on the first time of booting any game, it's going to give you compiling PPU modules. Depending on how big the game is, this can take longer times than other games. But we're just going to wait patiently for this. So if I just exit out of 1942, I'm not going to bore you with any gameplay, but as you can see, that's working just fine. We also got Minecraft, which is the ISO game, so I'm going to just open this one up again. And again, it's going to say compiling PPU modules. Like I've been saying, on the first time of booting games through RPCS3, this is a common thing. So over time, you will get used to this. But some games can take longer than others. For example, Minecraft just there takes around a few minutes on my computer. And as you can see, that's working fine. Now, what we can also do is add some artwork to our PS3 game. So what I'm going to do is just go to main menu, scroll down to scraper, and I'm going to go to scrape now. And as we can see on the top right hand side, it's now scraping the artwork, which we've requested Retrobat to do. And what we're going to do next is got the game settings, update game list, and yes. And there we go. Now, sadly, we got Minecraft, but we don't have 1942. So what I'm going to do is just pull down the A button on my controller. I'm going to go down to Scrape. And here we go. And if I download this, and there we go. Now I've got artwork for 1942 as well as Minecraft. So that's it for today's how to add PSN games and ISO images to RPCS3 in the latest Retrobat 7.1. We can also use JB folders in order to play games in Retrobat. But like I said throughout this video, this video has really mainly been aimed at the PSN games. If anybody out there wants me to upload a new guide for the JB folders method of playing games through Retrobat and RPCS3, drop a comment below and I'll get onto that. Anyways, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel just jamie that means you'll get notified every time i release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too and also if you are new to my channel i'm going to leave in the comment section two playlists which is going to give you playlists for two sides of retro bat tutorials but you can check those out yourselves anyways until next time stay retro